Well, the minds behind ChatGPT are being accused of scraping massive amounts of personal data to train the popular chatbot. OpenAI is facing a lawsuit. It was filed yesterday in California. It accuses the Microsoft-backed company of secretly harvesting data to train its large language models so that the chatbot could replicate human language, including private conversations, medical data, and even information about children. So the lawsuit brings up growing concerns about the AI boom and obviously about data privacy. I want to bring in Jeff Seibert. He's the co-founder and CEO of Digits. That's a financial manager platform that uses machine learning. Jeff, also the former head of consumer products at Twitter. Uh, he's here in a Fox Business exclusive. So first, give me your reaction to this lawsuit. Well, Cheryl, thank you so much for having me. This is a really important topic for everyone to be discussing. And when you look at it, this technology is very immature. It's as if you've given a young child basically the entire contents of the Internet, every word written. You don't know what they're going to blurt out after the fact. And so this is really important to figure out, and particularly when you think about business use cases like finance, you want to guarantee your finance data is secure. And so that's been one of our major focuses at Digits. Okay, two questions then. If you're Sam Altman, how do you handle this? Okay, if you're Congress, how do you handle this? Yeah, really great question. Um, there's been a lot of work done on how these models are trained, what data is going into them. You're seeing companies like Reddit react. Um, I think they need to be very transparent on how they're training the models, what data they're using, and what they expect that to result in from the model output. And then from the government perspective, I think we should start developing guidelines on how these models can be trained. I think they have tremendous beneficial impact, but we just need more transparency and more openness in what's actually going on. Yeah, there's been a lot of fear mongering about AI, and I'm kind of curious where you are because it, it, I've done a lot of research as well into this, and I think that you know guardrails make sense. Um, I don't think it should be coming from Congress. I think it should be coming from the community, people like yourself, the experts. But at the same time, you know, you don't want to stifle innovation. You know, Dan Ives from Wedbush says AI is basically the iPhone revolution. It's the Internet revolution. Mm -hmm. This is a game changer for the world, for our lives. So how do we approach it? You're exactly right. This is exactly like the rise of the Internet, the rise of mobile, just happening a hundred times faster. And I believe it has tremendous opportunity to do good. Uh, at Digits, we built our machine learning team three years ago. We've been publishing our research since 2021. There's a lot of active development happening in this space. And honestly, I think a lot of the fears are overblown. We're working on training our AI to understand debits and credits, to understand small business accounting. The AI is not going to take over the world anytime soon, and we need an opportunity for the technology to develop. Jeff, you were on the, the social media dilemma. It was a documentary that was on Netflix. So I'm curious because, you know, where do you stand when it comes to the concerns about privacy and, and, and image theft, things like that, which is a big deal, not just for AI, but also on social media platforms as well? Yeah, with Social Dilemma, we really tried to expose what data was being used. And so when you're on Facebook or Instagram or Twitter, everything you look at is tracked. How long you look at each image is tracked. And that all goes into the AI. And the AI is used to then ideally show more ads, to basically order the content you see it in so that you stay in the platform scrolling. And now I think with the, large, the rise of large language models, it's an even more important topic to really understand what data is being used and how. And so when you look at business finance, we've been very, very protective, and we believe we're the first in the world to have a personal, intelligent, accurate finance AI that encrypts and secures all the business's data. Mm. All right. Very good points from you, as always. Jeff Cyber, thank you for weighing in on this topic. It's not going away. Thank you so much. All right.